Thank you very much to host us. So I'm Eric Desaunier. I'm the CEO and founder of Nouveau Monde Graphite. Uh, just uh, being in Vancouver reminds me a lot. We started a company 10 years ago. I don't know if you remember 10 years ago in Vancouver when you were pronouncing the word graphite. So I remember being in a hotel nearby and David Hodge from Zim2. Uh, I remember having a, a big room full of investors. It was a specific graphite day and he was like, the world need graphite. Vancouver will bring graphite. I remember 10 years ago, just reminded me, okay, the world needs graphite. Let's discover a graphite deposit and develop it properly. And 10 years after, the, the price for graphite at the time was double today. There was no demand at the time. And now the, gra the graphite market has humongous demand. For every ton of lithium you put more in the market, you need 1.5 tons of graphite to, to do batteries. So where's David Hodge? I want him to do it again this speech because the time is right now. After having spent over 200 million of, uh, of expenses on our project, I'll introduce you where we are after all that work. 10 years of uh, hard working. So what we do basically, it's not only bringing a rock of graphite. You need really to have the mining assets that you develop through transformation and then you, you sell directly to cell maker. We just did recently our first agreement with Panasonic Energy just before Christmas, the supplier of Tesla, and that's exactly what is required by the cell maker in America. They want the mine, they want as much, uh, as much transformation as possible, and they want exactly this little ball of, of graphite, consistent one after the other, every batch, all the same. And that's what we're demonstrating and th that we're doing in our asset. So it's great, you need to build this full, full vertical, but you need to have the asset to do that and the infrastructure. And lucky enough in Canada, in Quebec, this is one of the only jurisdiction other than China where you can have the right geology, so you need the right metamorphism, so you have good quality graphite asset to crush, grind, float, and produce the, the flake, but also the right infrastructure to transform it into batteries, uh, battery material economically. So that's what we do thanks to our hydroelectricity, our access to chlorine, and now there's humongous amount of customer here in North America who require that product. It makes a lot of sense to build this local supply chain. So we have two very advanced assets that are in construction, fully permitted, and one that we're, we just acquired our closest competitor asset, uh, the Laguerre Mason's asset that we acquired last summer, 51% interest that we just published a, a PEA earlier uh, this year, actually, two, three weeks ago. So the Matawini mine is under construction. Uh, we've spent maybe 20, 25 million on the assets so far. Matawini mine will be the biggest and it's the most advanced natural graphite asset in North America. Uh, if we proceed with the project financing as expected in the upcoming Stu quarter, it will be in production before the end of 2025 and most of the production will be sent into Bicancourt, really famous now because a lot of bat battery material projects are getting built in Bicancourt Industrial Park. It's about two hours drive from the Matawini mine. That's where most of the production will be sent to be transformed into uh, the anode material required to, to, to be sold directly to cell maker. And then, you know, it was clear in our discussion with battery maker in the last, since 2020 that they were looking for assets in North America to, to de-risk, to be an alternative to the Chinese supply chain. So we, that's why we acquired 51% interest in the Laguerre project that we, we rebranded into the Watnan asset, which is remote further north that now we're developing 10 times the size that Mason were planning at 500,000 ton per annum. So three phases approach. Phase one is very important. We have 2000 ton capacity that we've built since 2018, it's fully operational. So when a customer come to see us or an investor, they see like from crushing the rock all the way to the characterization of the material with all the process step to make the anode material they require. So this phase one, we have over 100 employees to total, is as big as the established East Asian uh, anode maker. So we're, we have like 35 engineers, nine PhDs, to go from mining to electrochemistry at the end. So this asset is located all in Quebec, very close to the deposit, and that's what we're running to support the project financing of the phase two. So the phase two is fully permitted, construction started, 
and we published a full feasibility study on both the integrated project, the mine and transformation last summer by BBA and Panasonic Energy announced that they are interested by more than half a significant por portion of the production. And then, you know, when we knew that we were getting there, we acquired the, uh, the other asset for the phase three. So following construction of the phase two, the construction team moved to the phase three. So before 2028, we can bring even more product to the market. Just quickly, important point, we are carbon neutral. We're projecting to be only 1.23 kilogram of CO2 equivalent per kilogram of product produced. About 12 times less than the average in China for natural graphite. It's significant when customers like Panasonic want to be carbon neutral as well. So they need to pay for compensation. To so us, we bring value by being already carbon neutral. So you should expect a premium as a shareholder in the sale price for being carbon neutral. So this is quite important, all electric mine with Caterpillar, and we're, we're exclusively using hydroelectricity to be such low carbon footprint. So that's quite important in our story. So quick words on you know, the, the battery itself. So there's a lot of, of, of lithium that is, that is brought into uh, market now. You know, you see on the, on the cathode side, there's a lot of different cathode material. You see LFP, NMC, NC, a lot of different battery chemistry. The thing that is important, even though there's diversification on the cathode side, and there's few options outside China on the cathode side, the anode side, it's all 95% graphite, and it's 100% coming from China today. So that's why customers like Panasonic are extremely worried about the fact there's no alternative, there's no major, so they need really to develop capacity on the graphite side or help a project like us to get developed to really be able to keep the growth. So what it means, all that graphite, if you look all battery materials, 363 plants are getting built. In fact, tomorrow, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence from UK are organizing here in Vancouver a, a very interesting uh, conference, a full day on battery material, uh, different battery materials. So feel free to connect us at the booth, talk to Mark, and we'll give you the, the, the info where to go. But that will be a very interesting conference. But as you see there, graphite by a margin is the biggest component of a lithium ion battery. And especially in North America, where you have over a thousand gigawatt hour of battery capacity, and give or take, you need 1.2 kilogram of graphite per kilowatt hour of battery. You cannot do that battery if you have only lithium. You need the graphite, you need everything in the battery. So that's 1.2 million ton of graphite needed in America by 2031. And in Europe is even a bit bigger, 1.4 million ton of graphite. And we're the, the largest, the biggest in North America, and we're planning to produce 43,000 ton of finished product by 2026. So you see the disconnect. It's humongous numbers. Now that the bottlenecks seem to be in the last two years on lithium, and now it seems to be uh, fixed a bit, stabilizing a bit, not fixed, but for every tons of lithium more brought into the market by the lithium producer that has now big incentives because of pricing, you need 1.5 uh, tons of graphite. So we all expect in the upcoming uh, two quarters max to have a big impact on graphite pricing to complete our, uh, to be there as the only alternatives for large customer. Panasonic Energy obviously is quite important in the story. It's great partner. They run the Giga factory in Nevada and now they have announced new uh, factory in Kansas. They purchased today, give or take 60,000 ton of our product, but they want to grow their business to 200,000 ton per annum of needs of our product only in America. But you will see also other customer as much interested in the upcoming few weeks and months that to complete our uh, phase two uh, marketing book. So, you know, without going in much detail, if you come in Montreal, you're all welcome to visit our operations. We do a Side a bigger side visit around Formula One, so we can, if you're interested, again, come to our booth. But we have a lot to see, 100 employees, again, a big inf infrastructure to go from crushing to uh, the qualification, making our own sale in our plant. So this is, this is what really is needed in America. Not only crushing, floating, making the flake, but most importantly, making the chemical product at the end. So just, so you know it's fully uh, permitted. This is in September. As you see, uh, the construction site is on the left. On the right side, th this is where we are mining about 40,000 ton of ore in the last few years, and we have the tailing management facility. 
So you can drive all the way from the airport to that site in two hours uh, from Montreal. So this is quite important infrastructure and it, this is ongoing. So now this is ready to start pouring concrete when we finish construction uh, project financing. So once we have project financing, 28 months after it's fully operational, the concentrator. And in Bécancourt, that's where we transform the product. It's about, again, two hours drive from uh, the mining site. This is exact same location that the Quebec government is pushing hard uh, to develop the supply chain. We're the only anode guy, but on the cathode, you have three big projects, BASF, GM POSCO, and Ford with EcoPro. And you have Liven with Nemascal Lithium on the precursor. And you have also Valley building a nickel sulfate plant and amongst a lot of smaller projects. So this is quite an interesting uh, location. So you need both the great geology and the right infrastructure uh, with low cost hydro and chlorine access and nitrogen that we have in the park to be successful. Pretty unique as a combination to be in the market. So it, you know, give or take the feasibility demonstrate that it will be about 400 million dollar of EBITDA when will be fully ramped up in the, the full operation. So that's quite interesting. So that's the phase two. So that's why now we've announced a phase three that will have five times the size. So do the math, five times the, the capacity of the 400 million EBITDA. That's the next big thing we'll develop after the phase two. So we wanted to demonstrate that we have the only option for large cell maker in North America. It took time and that's what we have now in our our portfolio. So we have about 60 million in the bank. We can be patient for that moment to occur. You'll see a lot of announcement in the next two quarter related to a subsidy package from the various governments related to the senior debt package that we're negotiating and also other customer that will complete the phase two book and poten potential big strategic agreement as well on the phase three that we're developing. So very busy time, three largest shareholder, Mitsui from Japan, Number three, IQ from Quebec, number two, and Palinger's group, who looked everywhere in the world in 2018 and 19 to find the best project, and they invested since 2019 in every round that we're doing to maintain their 20, 21% ownership. <laughs>